Hey guys, hey, this is May. Follow me on IG, Periscope, and Twitter, and Snapchat, and they're all on YouTube. Now, let's talk white dudes being about that BS too. Okay, guys, I'm giving you a story time, mainly because of the sisters, the ones who believe that going to a white dude and messing with white dudes would be better than messing with the brothers. I'm about to school, y'all. You're welcome. So, um, about... I want to say about 15 years ago, my girlfriend, or close to 15 years ago, something like that, one of my good Judy's, Monica, I'm going to call her Monica, one of my good Judy's, Monica, had uh, been going through some um, situations with her husband. And um, he just all of a sudden just woke up one day and was like, Bet, I'm leaving you. Yeah, I cheated on you. Yeah, I crashed up all your cars. Yeah, we got kids together. Yeah, we married, but I feel like leaving you right now. And, you know, to be honest, she wasn't really upset about it. She was happy. She was like, good. You know, now I'm finally free. I'm free, Jesus Christ. I am free. She went into instantaneous party mode. Like, I was always saying, I was single. Like, I'm more single than I'm in a relationship. I, you know, I don't know. I love being in a relationship. For some reason, your girl always single. Like, now I'm just always and, single. And um, what ended up happening was uh, during the summertime, we used to frequent this place down here in DMV called um, Adams Morgan. It's right down there on Columbia Road. Um, it's, it's a multicultural area. You can find, like, um, white folks, Italians, um, 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 students from like grad students from, um, you know, like Georgetown, GW, George Mason, like all the, um, all the elite in that area. You got West African clubs, South African clubs, um, Haitian clubs. It, it's just a, a, a pit of, a mosh pit of everything. And Whatever culture you're from, believe me, you can find it there and you can have a good time there. So one day, it was about six of us. It was, um, I'm not going to say everybody's real name, but it was me, Monica, because that was my, me and her, that was my partner in crime. That was my uh, Cagney and I was the lazy, right? So, um... It was about six of us. It was me, Cagney, and we gonna say this other girl named Sierra. So, um, and it was a couple other girls, but all together it was six. So um, one day we went down to Adams Morgan and my girl Monica, oh, she is a drinker. Oh, that bitch can drink. I mean, she got a wooden leg or a mud foot or a peg leg or a wooden arm or something, but that hussy can put back the So one day we had into this club called Tom Tom. And Tom Tom was like this club with a whole bunch of white folks in it. It was different cultures. It was um, like some Indian people, some uh, white people. Um, it was a few sprinkles of black people, but it was mostly white folks in the club. And in the club, um, me, Sierra, and one of the other six was there while Monica was on the floor. I mean, Monica was getting down. She was, you know, over there in the corner doing what Monica do over there, right? Like I said, she was free. She was off the chain because she was finally free of being married to this guy who she was so committed to and he just didn't treat her. Me and Sierra became engulfed into a conversation. Yeah, man, uh-huh, girl, yeah, so you still dating such and such, now you still dating such and such? Uh, no, I ain't dating him no more, girl. You know I don't be keeping up with dudes. You know I am in love today and hate the mother sucker tomorrow. Then we look over. I said, Sarah, Sarah, man, look at Monica. Look at Monica. Monica over there making out with a white dude. I said, this bitch right here. I said, but I'm a punisher. I'm going to let her stay over there. She going to keep She gonna keep kissing him. So she want to kiss random strangers, what's going to happen is she going to stay over there. That's what she going to do. Let her stay. Let her stay over there. Let, so about, about five minutes later, me and Sierra looking at the clock going, oh, she's she been kissing that strange for about five minutes. You think we should break it up? You think we should go over there and break it up? 
Sierra was like, nay, you wrong. I'm like, yeah, I am wrong, but it's funny. So it's funny. I go up there and I put my hand in between them and, you know, hey, hey, then, hey, then, uh, that's your friend? You know him? Y'all go together? That's your new man? Excuse me, sir, what's your name? How you doing? Yes, I'm that girlfriend that be, you know, be, you know, messing it up for the ninjas. Y'all mad at me. I know the ninjas. Y'all looking at me right now like I hate hussies like her. I know. I'm so after yeah. the club. Uh, we went to where our cause was, and the way um, Adam Morgan is set up, there's no like parking. Everything is residential parking, so we ended up having to park in a residential area. So on our way through there, we had went to this Seven um, Eleven. So back then, I was smaller. I can get the um, I can get the eat a Snicker bar every day, and I was over there like looking at the Snicker bar. So this dude had came up to me and was like, you want this snick bar? You want snick bar, baby? And I was like, yeah. He was like, you don't want that snick bar. You want this you one. Want this one. I said, uh-uh. I don't want that. I, I, I don't do big... I don't do whatever it is you talk about. I don't need nothing that big in my life. I don't I don't want that. Girlfriend, I didn't even notice that my girlfriend was over there talking to another white dude. And I'm talking to, like, the white dude I was talking to, he was very attractive. He looked like a Kennedy. Like a, like a Kennedy. And y'all know how fine them Kennedys look, right? So, you know, he just made it very clear to me that yeah i find you attractive and i'm like i didn't take it for serious because i think that white dudes don't find us attractive but obviously them white dudes did so she talking to a white dude with blonde hair and blue eyes i'll never forget him because he was like you know he looked like his name could have been there for bob or dick or so she came strolling over here to me and she was like nay they saying they have an after party at their house and they want us to come i said man White dudes don't have after parties, Ben. Didn't you see Animal House? They don't have after parties, girl. That no. So she was like, "Nay, you coming? You coming?" We was like, "Yeah, we'll be there. We walking down with you now." She, I was like, "This hussy right here. Oh my God, this hussy." Okay, okay, Ben. All right, all right. So let's so, go. We walking down there, and they lived in like one of them beautiful brownstones that like you see in the movie house of cards like y'all know anybody from the dmv know that we have big beautiful brownstones and um all of them were in grad school and i can't recall whether it was gw or whether it was georgetown i can't remember but they was in grad school so they was older they weren't as old as us like we were in our 30s or what was we our early 30s and they were in their uh late 20s but anyway they were still older so um we went there oh and it wasn't nobody there y'all it wasn't nobody there or it was people there it just wasn't no more people there it was just them so um they was like yeah come in sit down so we sitting down you know my girl she drunk as a mug as usual they offer her more to drink she like, yeah, I'll take some. I said, Ben, do you even know what white dudes drink? Do you even know what they drink? What do they drink? What what do they still, what is, what do white dudes drink? I don't know. Make a little light. I don't know. But the bitch was ready to it's drink. Three white dudes did. Okay. It was one sitting in the couch and the two we walked up with. So um the one that was sitting on the couch, not the couch, but the uh, recliner, he was smoking weed out a bomb. I said, white dudes forever. Smoking weed out of bone. I'm like, motherfuckers don't use reefer no more. People don't use white top no more. Everybody using blunts of bones. A ninja can't use reefer. Bro, get some top paper. What the? What the? So, 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 um, me and my girlfriend sitting next to each other, and the one that uh, was asking me that I want a king size had sat in between us. He put his arms around us like, and ba ba ba, but he wasn't really like listening to us. He didn't. He was just steady busy, looking at her, looking at his lips, and looking at me, looking at his lips. And I started noticing. Wait a minute, but I'm staying quiet, and my Judy just carrying on a conversation with him, but she drunk. Remember that. Now I'm sitting on the side of him, and then all of a sudden, he say, 
So have you ever been with a white dude before? I'm saying white dude. Have you ever been with a white guy before? And my girlfriend just talking and talking. I don't know what she was talking about. She could have been talking about street cars and, and I don't know what she could have been talking about. But this Ozzy didn't even realize that he had switched the conversation from eating popcorn to sleeping with white guys. So then I said, oh, he's done. These ninjas trying to fuck. That's what the heck is going on. They so trying then, to fuck. What had happened was my girlfriend still steady carrying on the conversation. She don't know what the freak is going on. I'm sitting there. I'm just looking straight ahead. The white dude, the white dude to the uh, right of us was, you know, trying to make conversation with us. Oh, with me. And I was like, no. Yes. Uh uh. You know, and then the, the white dude sitting in the recliner was like, you look tired. Do you want to take a nap? A nap? I said, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You see these ninjas? You see what's going on here? She was like, no, calm down. Everybody ain't trying to fuck. The white dude was like, yeah, we trying to fuck. I said, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you how to not the best with these white dudes? Didn't I tell you not the best? So, um, when they, um, came back, they came back with two more dudes. So they must've knew that those other two dudes were coming. They all conversing amongst each other. And I was like, Ben, it's about to be peanut butter and mayonnaise all over here. You hear me? It's going to be peanut butter and mayonnaise all over these walls, all over the floor, all over the place. These white dudes got plans for us then. They got plans for us. She was like, nay, if they had plans, they would have been jumped on us. I said, Ben, all they need is a yes. Because they don't want a rape charge. But they but white dudes do take vagina. Haven't you seen the movies? I seen the movies, bitch. They take vaginas in the movies now. You don't want it. And I don't want it. So I said, Ben, I'm about to stand up. Ben, if you don't stand up with me, Ben, I'm gonna leave you here. And you gonna have this fight with all these ninjas by themselves. You feel me? That's not about to happen. Nay is not about to get involved in this BS. So I'm gonna, when I leave out this door, I'm gonna call your daddy and I'm gonna tell him where you are. But I'm not doing it. When we got out that door, I said, "Now, Ben, I hope this teaches you a lesson. Them ninjas ain't know our names. They didn't walk us to our car. They didn't ask us for our number. They didn't ask us for nothing except for our vagina." Do you feel me? They didn't care. They didn't want to know if we wanted to go walk our dogs in the park. They didn't care whether or not we wanted to play beer pong with them, go to Starbucks, go to an internet cafe, whatever, even if, I don't know if internet cafes was even open then, I don't know. But they didn't, they weren't interested in nothing but vagina. And because it was about five of them and two of us, oh, them ninjas was trying to run a train on us. And I'm like, luckily, it could have went totally bad. It Don't think for one sec that a color depicts who a person is or who a man is or who a woman is. It doesn't matter. If a person has it in their soul to be a, kind of, a certain kind of way, then that's who they are. But them men ain't cared nothing about us. They was no better than any other brother that would try the same trick on us. So open your mind up, sisters. The same people you meet way up. Are the same people you meet on the way down. Naysayers, let's be good to each other.